there's an easy way of creating a test page on WordPress without the need of creating a subdomain just to test new set of tags or ads. First, you need to identify if you have an article on your site that doesn't get any traffic or page view. Go to Analytics, Behavior, Site Content, and All Pages. Click on Page Views so you can sort your data in descending or ascending order. Once you have identified that article, for example, take note of the URL. Now let's pretend that the article not getting any traffic is this one right here. Now if you don't have an Ad Inserter plugin yet, make sure you add it and have it activated. Once activated, you can go directly to Settings and get ready to deploy some tags. Now depending on your setup, your Monetize More account manager will be giving you instructions to deploy some set of tags. And you will have a header tag and some body tags if you're running header bidding. If you're running Google Ad Manager tags, you also have the header tag and the body tags. If you're running Ad Exchange hard coded setup, meaning you're not using an ad server, you're only going to have the body tags. If you have a header tag, you will need to deploy it anywhere in between the opening head and the closing head tag, while the body tags will be deployed anywhere in between the opening body and closing body tags where they're supposed to show up. In Ad Inserter, we will be using hooks to deploy tags in the header. Click on the gear icon, click on hooks, enable the hook, give it a name. You can give it any name you want. I'd like to call it head code. And the action here is very important. You will have to type in WP underscore head. Then go ahead and save it. That hook will then show up in here as an option, which means if you deploy a tag in here and choose that in your insertion, it will be deployed in the header section of your site. Now let's say this is the tag that I need to deploy in the header section. So we copy that, we go back to Add Inserter, choose a block here that's not used yet. Go ahead, deploy that header tag, give it a name. Then you can go ahead and insert this in the head code. Click on List. And we'll go ahead and target the specific URL. Let's say this is now the article that's not getting any traffic. I'll go ahead and grab the URL, paste it in here. But here's a very important thing. Remove the root domain. So you only include the URL after the root domain and make sure you add a star. You need to choose whitelist, enable the section in here, depending on where this article belongs to. Or you can just enable all of them because anyway, it will only be targeting this URL. For your body tags, go ahead and grab them one by one. Go to Add Inserter. And again, grab another block. Deploy that in there. Enable your pages. And this time, you're going to have to select the specific section of the page where you want this ad to show up. So for example, I'd like this ad to show up before paragraph 2. And I also want it centered. And very important is your targeting. Click on list again. And for the URL, grab that URL again, remove the root domain, and add a star. And select whitelist. You're going to have to do the same for the rest of your body tags and always target the specific URL we're using for testing. Once that's done, if you have another header tag that's targeting this article, for example, what you will need to do is go to that block or header tag, go to list, put the URL, remove the root domain, add the star, and this time keep it blacklisted. So this is your old header tag basically that used to target this URL or article. But in this test, we need to disable it and we only run the new header tag by targeting it or whitelisting it in here. You will also have to do the same for the rest of the body tags that are targeting this article or this page. Just go to list for every single block, add the URL, 
remove the root domain, add the star, and keep them blacklisted. So only the ones whitelisting the article or the tags we're testing. Once that's done, go ahead and save your settings. Now I just refreshed the page and I don't get any ads anymore because we just disabled it on this article. And if you right click, view page source, we now have the new header tag deployed in there and the corresponding body tags. Now because these are all dummy ad units or tags, we don't see any ad serving yet. But real life situation, you're going to have ads in here that's been set up for you. And all you need to do, once you have all the codes deployed, grab this whole URL right here, send it to your account manager, and we will confirm to make sure your tags are working. Once confirmed working, you will need to replace all your old tags or disable them and replace them with a the new one. All you need to do is go to the insertion section and select disabled. You will have to do that for every single old tag that you have running. And make sure that for the new tags you have deployed, remove the URL targeting and put it back to blacklist like how it used to by default. And you will have to do the same for the body tags as well. Remove the URL targeting, put it back to blacklist. And once you're done, just click on save. Just an additional tip for your sidebar ads, you need to go to appearance and widgets. And this is where you set up. Drag the ad inserter depending on where you want it to show up. And then choose the block number, whichever ad you want to show in there. And once you're done, just click on save. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time.